want to show you guys how to get swipe on your HTC Incredible. First thing you want to do is go to the marketplace and search for Astro File Manager. It's, it's a free uh, app. Download that, install it, and then once you're done with that, plug in your USB cable. Once that's in place, I can't reach this cable the way I'm in, so sideways, but once that's in place, drag down the USB debug, connect it, and then click on charge only, which will bring up all your options, charge only, HTC sync, disk drive, mobile broadband connect. Go to disk drive and hit done. That will pop you up on the computer as a, an external hard drive. So from that point, what you're going to do is download the file that I'm going to provide a link in the uh, the description of this movie. Download that file and then drag and drop that file from your desktop or wherever you have it stored onto the SD card for the droid. Just put it at the, the very base level of the SD card. Don't put it in any folders, just put it right on top so it's easy to find. Once that's there, unplug the phone. Pull it back out. Okay, what you're going to do from here is open up File Manager, or Astro I should say, which is the File Manager. So I'm going to open this up. You will find all your your folders for the SD card. I just clicked on the wrong one. Um, in my case, at the very bottom, you see swipe. You're going to click that and just just hit OK for everything. Install it. It's going to ask you, is this OK to do this? People might be able to see your key inputs, whatever. If you want it, just hit OK. Once it's installed, go to settings for your phone, language and keyboard. And then you'll see that swipe is now an option on here. Check swipe so it's so it's lit up. And then for me, I like to have Ribbon and Key Press turned off. It's really annoying and disable audio feedback. I have that turned on because I don't like it constantly making noises at me. Uh, go down to the bottom, do tutorial. This will show you basically how to use it. Touch here to start. It gives you a little guide on how to do it. When you're done with that, um, you can try using it. You know, just do a new message and uh Hi, how are you? Um, if it works, great. If not, go ahead and shut down your phone and let it restart, and that will allow you to use it. Sometimes you have to restart the phone for that particular thing. It's the first app that I found that you had to restart it. But uh, give it a try. I really like it, and after using it for not that long at all, but I really like it. I don't think I can go back to the old keyboard. I do want to point out that when you're using the keyboard, there is no longer a microphone button, so you can't do the uh, voice recognition from your main keyboard. But other than that, hopefully it's something they patch, but other than that, it's uh, it's good to go. It's a really, really, really quick um, keyboard. I really like it. It's awesome. Give it a try.